When Disney World originally reopened after the shutdown, they instituted a new reservation system. Many of us know it and have had to work with it as we want to go to Walt Disney World. Whether you have a ticket, an annual pass, no matter how you're going to Disney, you need to work with the reservation system. And in the past, the chairman of Walt Disney World has said that they're going to be keeping the system for the foreseeable future. Today we have some updates about the reservation system and I want to share with you a few of my thoughts about what I think is working with the system and what's really not, in my opinion, and what I think the best way forward is for all of us to enjoy the park. The reservation system at Walt Disney World was instituted originally so that Disney can control how many people are going to each park on each day. Now, this works because they don't want to have overcrowding, especially during these times where we're reopening. Makes a lot of sense. They want to make sure that it's just a certain number of people and they can be safe about it. Makes a lot of sense to all of us. On many days, this seems to work. The reservations fill up and it's not nearly as crowded as other days would have been at the parks without the reservation system. However, Disney is clearly increasing the number of people who can go all the time. We don't get to see those numbers, but there are estimates that say it's between 70 and 80, 85% of total capacity are being allowed into the parks on given days. This is totally unverified information, but given what we've seen in the parks, it would make sense. For those who like to come to Walt Disney World and plan their trips months in advance, this system isn't too bad. You understand that you gotta make those reservations and then you go to the parks on those days. The only caveat there is that you can't change plans last minute if there's no more availability at the park that you, you know, changed your mind and wanted to go to. That's kind of a, a thing that I think may need to be addressed in the future, but we'll get back to that. It's working in some ways, but in others, it's actually made things a little bit more difficult. An example, Thanksgiving week. The tickets for Thanksgiving week sold out basically on Monday prior to Thanksgiving week happening. So it makes you wonder, okay, so people have those reservations, they're coming from out of town, or locals who want to experience the park, and those who maybe had last minute changes or wanted to go ahead and make those reservations, you know, just prior to Thanksgiving, couldn't at all. Again, we're faced with positives and negatives. The positive here is that it's not super crowded, even though Thanksgiving was crowded. But at the same time, it prevents those who would have otherwise maybe wanted to go to the parks. Now, this does make sense for the crowding issue, but there's another piece of it. During the very merriest after hours celebration, which by the way was a ton of fun, it, it seemed as if the after hours, which are usually meant to be low crowds for rides, actually had a far increase in the number of people who were there. It didn't feel like an after hours event, it felt more like a very merry Christmas party because of the number of people. It's true that it was meant for after hours, it just felt like it was more. It was a higher capacity than other after hours events. With that in mind, Disney's clearly increasing the number of people who can go to these events, who can go to the parks, and the question comes up, will we ever not have this reservation system? I think the answer, at least for the foreseeable future, as the executives said, is no. And the reason for that is Disney has the opportunity to prevent those giant lines that form outside of the parks on, for example, Christmas Day or even New Year's. Sometimes these giant lines would form maybe two hours long in, in front of the parks where guests can't get in there because they've reached total capacity per the fire code. Again, this is helpful in one way, but at the same time, if you are a last minute planner, this can make things more difficult. So basically, when you're going to Walt Disney World now and for the foreseeable future, you've got to plan far in advance. Now there's another piece of this, the annual pass system at Walt Disney World. This has been an interesting experience at Disney. We've seen the annual passes go away, then come back, then go away again. The reason for that, at least from what we've seen, is that all the reservations for certain holiday periods of time have completely gone away. So it doesn't really make sense for Disney to sell annual passes when there's no opportunities for you to go and experience the parks with your new annual pass. I get it, it does make sense, but at the same time, I feel like there's an opportunity here for Disney to continue to make changes to make this easier. When I say that, I mean, new parks. It's clear at this point that Disney is an extremely popular destination. People want to go all the time. The reservations are filling much faster than we've ever seen them before. And even though we knew that Disney was thinking about expanding to other parks a couple of years ago, we now can see why it's so important that they do. It's just going to keep getting more and more crowded as guests continue to come from all over the world to experience the most magical place on earth. This is going to keep happening and happening, so we've got to have more areas for guests to go 
an experience that means a fifth gate. I know we've talked about it for a long time. We've talked about how, you know, maybe it'll be 10 years and five years. We don't know. We, we really still don't know. But given this situation, the fact that we cannot get to the parks and Disney, and let's take this from a corporate perspective, Disney can't make more money because they've limited, they've actually stopped themselves from more guests coming in and giving them more money. Let's just you know, speak in the language of corporate, right? Because of that, they're just that alone, just having to stop right there, they're gonna build a fifth gate. Just because of that, they're gonna build a fifth gate. Keep in mind that is just my hypothesis, right? I'm just thinking about this from, again, a corporate perspective. If they wanna to continue to make more profits, if they wanna be even more successful now and in the future, they've got to expand. They've got to make spaces for all of these guests who are coming to Walt Disney World. If they don't, they will continually stunt their growth at Walt Disney World. Whenever Disney does build a fifth gate, and I'm sure they will, it's just a matter of time, and by the way, this is not gonna be anytime soon. It's gonna be a while, even though we see the issue right now, we need it now, it's gonna be a while before uh, any fifth gate happens. It would make sense that this reservation system is there because as soon as Disney does open a fifth gate, reservations for that park, whatever it is, will be gone instantly and for months, just because <laughs> it's gonna be that popular. So keeping that, keeping that in mind, reservation system, Kind of makes sense. Now there is one part of the system that I really do like. If you have a park hopper ticket, Disney has made it known that they appreciate you getting that ticket and they want to make that available to you. For example, if Magic Kingdom is completely sold out, there's no opportunities to get reservations at Magic Kingdom for days, let's say even a week or two, but you have an Epcot reservation and you have a park hopper ticket or annual pass, you can park hop over to Magic Kingdom at 2 p.m. I love that. So in case that that was your plan, but you couldn't quite make it, you can still check in at Epcot, enjoy a few rides, maybe guys, you know, grab some merchandise or some food, and then after lunch, head on over to Magic Kingdom. And I think that part of it is something I really like. I'm really glad it's there. I'm glad that Disney hasn't changed that. They have made the extra space just in case park hoppers want to move around. Believe it or not, Disney saw this coming. We knew that they saw this coming because I think it was D23 2019 where they announced reflections and many other resorts that would be coming to Walt Disney World, new roads, and they it looked like they were getting ready for maybe, a, maybe a 50th, obviously it didn't happen, maybe a 100 year anniversary of the company. We're talking about a fifth gate. Obviously that didn't happen. D23 uh, 2022 is the 100 year anniversary. May, well, actually it's 23, but it'll be during 2022 where they talk about the 100 year anniversary. And we're all thinking to ourselves, okay, they were gonna build infrastructure, they were gonna build more of these resorts. Some of them got you know, axed because of the closures and it does make sense. But now we see the effects of not having the expansion that we were expecting, right? So Disney even foresaw this. They knew the crowds would be coming. They, they have numbers, charts to tell how these crowds are working. And so they were able to see this coming, but because of the closure, they weren't able to build as much as they wanted as fast as they wanted, which is why I think that a fifth gate is inevitable. It's just, when does it make sense for them financially? I have to admit that for some, the park reservation system makes a lot of sense. Planning in advance, coming from far away, it does make sense for you. But for others, it's a little bit of a nuisance. If you're a last minute planner or live close by, for you, it can be a little bit difficult because maybe you just want to go and do something on a given day, but there are no reservations left at all throughout Walt Disney World. For you, you're ready for the system to go away, but I don't think it's going away anytime soon. The only big change I think we can expect to see to the system in the future is increased capacity. Eventually, we'll get to a point where they're going to increase and increase, and most times out of the year, you'll get a reservation for any park you want any day. That does not include maybe spring break, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Probably those are just about the ones where you, in New Year's, where you can't get reservations as easily, but eventually we'll get to that point. As much as the reservation system is just an extra thing for us to do, it's not the worst thing in the world, and thankfully you can make those reservations further out in advance, which is helpful. Let me know what you think of the Park Pass reservation system at Walt Disney World. Do you like it as a way to kind of keep capacity down, or do you think it's just kind of an extra hurdle that you really wish you didn't have to have? Have you ever had a day where you kind of wanted to switch plans last minute and there were no reservations available? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. No matter what happens now or in the future, Disney's gonna try and make the best experience possible for guests. I know it, that's their whole business model. So that's the thing that they're gonna to wanna to do and this is just part of that, to try and make it fun, great experience once you're in the park. That's That I think is the original plan. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.